In the previous video, we have looked at the solution to the homogeneous state equation, where we calculate the behavior of the states of a system without an input. In today's video, we look at a more general version of the problem, solving the non-homogeneous state equation. This means that we want to calculate the behavior of the states of a system with an input. By analyzing the behavior of the states, we can gain insight into the dynamics of a system. The non-homogeneous state equation is given by the normal state equation x dot is equal to ax plus bu, where the states at some initial time t0 is specified as x0. The problem that we want to solve is calculating the states x of t for all time after the initial time t0. It can be shown that the solution is given by this equation, where the matrix exponential function of a times t minus t0 is multiplied with the initial state vector for the first term, and for the second term we calculate the integral from t0 to t of the matrix exponential of a times t minus tau times the vector b times the input signal u. The integrand will be a vector, and the meaning of the integral of a vector is that we apply the integral to each of the elements of the vector. The integration variable is tau, and the variable t is therefore considered to be a constant from the view of the integral. From the definitions of a previous video, we can recognize the matrix exponential of a times t minus t0 as the state transition matrix with argument t minus t0, and the matrix exponential of a times t minus tau as the state transition matrix with argument t minus tau. Once we have calculated the state transition matrix, as discussed in a previous video, we can therefore calculate the solution to the non-homogeneous state equation. We will prove this result at a later stage. For now, let's illustrate the concepts by working through an example. Suppose the non-homogeneous state equation of a second-order system is given by x dot equal to a times x plus b times u. This is the same example as for a previous video, except that the input is now non-zero. The initial states at time zero are all zero, and the input to the system is a unit step, written as mu of t. Previously, we have calculated the state transition matrix corresponding to this A matrix as follows. We now use the state transition matrix to write the solution of the non-homogeneous state equation as follows. The first term is the state transition matrix times the initial state vector, which is a zero vector. The second term is the integral of the state transition matrix with argument t minus tau, so we replace each t with t minus tau, times the b vector times the input, which is 1 over the entire period of integration. The first term falls away, and after multiplying the state transition matrix with the b vector, we get this vector. We now apply the integral to each element of the vector. At this step we calculate the integral symbolically. After evaluating the integral at the start and end of the interval, tau equal to 0 and tau equal to t, we get this vector, written in terms of t, and after combining the constants we get this result. What it means is that the states of the system in response to a unit step input will be described by these time functions. The behavior of state x1 is given by the first time function, which we can approximately plot as follows. And the behavior of state x2 is given by the second time function, which we can approximately plot as follows. By plotting and analyzing the response of a system to certain input signals, we can gain insight into the dynamics of the system.